Again, guys and welcome back to my channel <laughs> okay so before of that I would like to say congratulations to Dexter's world channel for reaching 1 million subscribers you know um, he's a very genuine person he likes to teach every uh, steps of the farm especially fish breeding and animal breeding cows rabbits and etc Okay, so for this for today's episode, we will show to you how we dispose the excess uh, leaves of lettuce, and then how we clean this up. And for tomorrow, um, Jarek will put the seedlings here, and yeah, we need to clean this up. Okay, so as you can see. This is the second batch and the third batch will be at the other side. Okay. So before we continue, okay, we will turn this off. Okay. So that the water will cannot flow. And then from here and up to there. Okay. Very nice growth. Okay, so let's go. Let's remove this one. Okay. So so that uh, we can easily transfer the coco pit okay so yes so we need to recycle this one because uh, this one this coco pit will be used next crop cycle so again we will do it we will put this one in a large container so as you can see, uh, there is an excess leaves. All we need to do is to cut this one, okay? And then let it go under, okay? So the tiny rabbits will eat this excess one. And then, yes, uh, it's 5.40 in the afternoon. So we have a short overtime here so that tomorrow, okay? We will go to Lipa Batangas and for the first time we will be uh, putting the seedlings there. Okay, so as you can see in my stories on YouTube, we build that one uh, for about 15 days and now it is very uh, ready and it was complete. Okay. The installation is went well. There is no. Uh, we're glad that the typhoon um, did not hit or did not land Philippines. So I guess it, we are very blessed. Okay, so hopefully there is no typhoon will hit the Philippines because if there is one, very devastating. Okay, so just continue doing this one. Okay. So one thing for sure, uh, the leaf will get dry and then this part of the soil. Okay. So anyway, 
thanks for the buyer late uh, earlier. Uh, he is, she is from Alabang and then they went here to buy uh, fresh lettuce. Okay, so she is a retired teacher, an avid fan. He watches our video every time. And yes, she always watch our video and support us. Okay, so I made tutorials because I want to have uh, my own farm someday. So YouTube is one of the one way on how to earn uh, dollars because in YouTube you can earn as much as there are lots of subscribers who are watching every single video you uploaded. Okay. So, yes. And today, guys, I am glad that we finally harvest our first Carolina Reaper, okay, grown in the NFT. Okay, you can see. We actually uh, put this Carolina Reaper in the NFT system and out of nowhere um, the growth is better uh, compared to the soil okay so this is actually a large okay large fruit okay so if you want guys to taste this one it is very free <laughs> Okay, I can give you one of these and then you are freely to taste this one. Okay, so as you can see, this is hydroponically grown Colorado Reaper. Okay, so this is actually uh, Ivan, our neighbor, uh, gave this to me and uh, he, he is very happy now that I am uh, harvesting my first fruit of Carolina Reaper okay so there's a buyer now okay I uh, have to harvest this one and wow, 100 pesos only so okay. so actually guys um, this episode and next episode we will have to speak in English okay so that our viewers international will understand what is going on in this farm so I hope you understand that YouTube is very uh, you can watch uh, anywhere so very that it is much informative guys we have to speak English from now on after the <laughs> next video video set <laughs> okay so this is uh, 100 pesos so Eventually, um, it's only four pieces that we put in 100 pesos. But so for our regular customer, we add one one head of lettuce so that it is uh, much much uh, larger than <laughs> like this one. Okay, so this is 100 pesos, guys. So if you want to purchase this one, uh, please message us at JNG Backyard Lettuce Facebook page. So it's 5.30 in the afternoon, so we need to finish this one so that Jerick tomorrow will clean this up. And uh, in the afternoon, he will replace this one in, with a new batch of seedlings. So this is our routine after we harvest. Okay, 
we went uh, we will harvest this one and then after that the excess uh, lettuce will uh, go to the rabbits okay so the rabbits will eat all of this one so it is very healthy for the rabbits especially the mother okay so they will nourish this one very very safe okay we don't spray pesticide in our crops so you can eat it right away after harvest well in hydroponics so we use master blend in this area um, the result is very great okay so in this side we're gonna use uh, Kong Kong or Chinese upland Kong Kong so that the growth will be much better in this side okay so we decided to put Kong Kong here because our lettuce cannot perform it very well during the summer okay so the growth decreases okay so it went uh, not performing well properly the growth is not uh, regular or the growth is not better at this side so we decided to put Chinese Kang Kong so we go to the nursery area we will show to you the progress from the start okay this is the Chinese Kang Kong so Jerick will transplant this one tomorrow okay so very very fast okay so the next batch will be this one so actually guys uh, we planted also bell peppers uh, yellow and red bell peppers okay so this one will be on uh, we will have to deliver this one tomorrow at the Lipa Batangas and today guys uh, we need to uh, retract or re revise our spacing so that each of our lettuce will gain 200 grams so we need to review the spacing so this space uh, eventually uh, I get this space or two inches space um, I pattern this to Riley Baluyut farm at Tagaytay so we adapted the spacing so eventually uh, the result went well and then I need to have this one for some reasons we need to have this uh, 200 grams so um, we take this one in the we need to have this at very large spacing so that we can gain um, very much lettuce or weight okay so as you can see we go at the side So the result is one uh, very very positive result so this as you can see this one it's much bigger this is two weeks lettuce okay so the spacing looks like that one a while ago so two weeks okay so there is a uh, two weeks left two weeks uh, we will wait for another another two weeks before we harvest this one hopefully we can gain 200 grams each crop so uh, we need to sacrifice uh, each holes okay so before we uh, we got one uh, we, we got 1103 on this side but we cut this one and then we put uh, minimal lettuce at this side so that we can gain 200 grams target weight okay <music> guys for those of you who did not yet subscribe to our channel please subscribe and click the notification bell so thank you